hang on. Help is on the way. I'll be there. What's it say? Get the f out. What? What's it say? It was a message from Kim about flying through shit box. Uh, I thought Kim was coming. She's trying. I was trying to come here. Yeah. Still. Yeah. What a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> she's like she's everyone's trying to f get home she's trying to just oh wait where is she in Amsterdam she's in Amsterdam um that'd be sick now tell her to come out we'll all stay out of here together <laughs> we're all in and out, in and out. Um, captain always goes down with the ship Looks like it's all moving pretty fast. It, well, we were up at like seven, packing everything up. When we spoke last night, you were flying more. Yeah, the quicker, the quicker we could leave. I think the better. We are in Stellenbosch and we're about to race Cape Epic, the first alternate race of the year. I'm very nervous. It's an eight day mountain bike race. World champions here. Um, a lot of very capable, experienced mountain bikers. And then there's Alex and I, also here. <laughs> Ready to race. Give it a shot. Nerves are pretty high. Um... But at the same time, um, you know, Locke and I, we've just been telling each other, it's like, yeah, it's a bike race. But at the same time, it's just two of us, you know? Um, and I mean, we've been through a lot of stuff together, so just hang on to Locke, <laughs> vice versa, you know? It's pretty powerful having a, he's my little rock, you know? So I got him, he's got me, and uh, it's just two of us out there and uh, we'll see how we come out the other end. I'm nervous because um, it's when you're out of your depth on a, on a mountain bike, especially in a, a technical level, um, it's just fear, it's genuine fear that you're gonna crash, which, um, and also like the fear that you're gonna crash and get in other people's way who are just trying to do their thing, you know, and be like the two, Idiot road bikers, like who, when you crash, like, of course, you're a road bike rider. You're nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Stretchy. <laughs> I had to, I had to, cl like, close my eyes and meditate on this. This, uh, it's not even a, it's a race. What is it? It's a, it's a, it's a, a bike crit. It's a crit. I guess. We're doing, we're doing a short track tonight. For charity, we're gonna we're fresh off the plane, sorta. Got in yesterday, feeling a little tired. Uh, we took two practice laps uh, on some tracks. We learned how to jump yesterday and today. It was good. Uh, we taught some old guys how to jump the mountain bikes. They say um, teaching is the best way to learn. <laughs> learned them real good. Uh, yeah, and now we're gonna, now we're stretching to go do this local race. I got a, I got a building anxiety. <laughs> can, can you see the, can you see the fear? The fear? <laughs> we did a, um, a short track race here in a township just outside of Stellenbosch. We're gonna do a little tune-up mountain bike race. Wednesday night before Cape Epic starting on Sunday. We're looking forward to it. If you could think of a cool race, you know, like tell me, because like it was so sweet. Sort of through the township, um, there's like a, a BMX track in it. Um, you sort of dropped off a hill, a few berms. Um, and the race was like half an hour long. This is a real mountain bike race. These are real mountain bikers, and I am not a real mountain biker. I feel like a, an imposter right now, you know? And now you actually go and do it, so it's like you're gonna be found out. <laughs> Run! Go! Run! 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 Run!
It's called the Champions Race for a reason. You get out there and you're like, oh yeah, it's a little local race, get around. And you're like, yeah. Isn't that guy the Olympic champion? Great. I've never raced a cross country race. I've only done like long mountain bike events. And they just start like, like sprint. You just sprint. After a few laps, it started to like settle and it was like, oh, they're not actually going away anymore. But yeah, it was like definitely working a lot out on the bikes and for ourselves. Yeah, they got smoked. Um, that wasn't great for the confidence. I kept dropping my post when I was trying to shift and then shift in the wrong direction. And then every now and then I just accidentally shift all the way from the top to the bottom without trying to, and then to have to run up the hill and just dumb stuff like that. And it was, it was comical as long as you weren't me. So. But it was like such a cool, such a cool event. And the whole vibe of it, it felt like a really low key, sort of small, um, race and then you look at the caliber of riders in there and you're like you kind of left thinking like oh, I just got my ass kicked at a local race but then you're like oh wait no that's the U23 champion like <laughs> that guy just came second at cyclocross worlds <laughs> you know like okay it's fine <laughs> <laughs> Dead last. <laughs> dead last. I'm Tom Hopper, and I direct uh, the alternative program for EF Pro Cycling. I wear a bunch of different hats, so I would say my profession would be the mechanic side, but I'm also doing a little bit of logistics. Um, driving, I'm the bus driver, you could say. I definitely get nervous at these events. Th this one probably more so than any of the others. I think what I've learned with the alternative stuff once I've gotten to the events is that um, you sort of just need to, to embrace the experience and sort of enjoy the experience where you are. And that the result, one, is out of my control. I think it's just about being sort of in the moment, understanding where, you're, where you are. You know, these places we get to travel, for example, Three Peaks, that was probably my favorite last year. Just the race in general, um, just seeing a different side of cycling that I'd, I'd only seen, you know, on the internet, videos. Um, I've heard of the race so much and, and sort of being able to be there, see the people that do it. That's what I love about it. The guys are bike racers and from last year, the experience showing up to these unknown races, uh, we go into it and we're all sort of like, ah, yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just get out there and see what happens. And what I've learned is um, these guys are serious racers. If, if you could have two guys on a team to work together, I mean, this is like Batman and Robin. They're really gonna help each other get through this uh, and just getting through it. Yeah, I would say that would be a success. I think we both seem very relaxed but we also understand each other in that, like, we both know we're shitting ourselves. Like, we're behind closed doors when it's just like the two of us in the room, and we're just like, man, <laughs> like, how you feeling? <laughs> you know? There's absolutely no one I'd rather be riding it with. Um, because it doesn't matter, like, Alex could show up unfit or sick or whatever, but you know he's gonna give, he's gonna give you everything when you start. He's a real racer. Right? So like when that when that gun drops, like he sees red sometimes, you know? Um, and he's willing to lay it on the line. Lachlan's certainly a little calmer than I am. Um, certainly in a race situation. Um, when I say calmer, I mean he, he, he looks at the big picture a lot more. Um, and I, I can be a bit uh, short-sighted, better for worse. <laughs> I mean, I think, my, I think my biggest strength, I hope my biggest strength for this will be uh, my mechanical expertise. Um, he's, uh, I don't know, he's not bad with, you know, fixing stuff, but I've seen some of the stuff he'll like run, you're like, dude, what are you thinking, man? <laughs> I've been practicing, actually. I changed the derailleur at home, try to see how fast I can do it. If, if they were able to, uh, let's say, under five minute, um, like, Mechanical, if, if they were able to pull that off, I think that would be a success. It's 25 minutes, it's so it's not that fast. 
but yeah, he's, he's sort of like, it's been good, even this week, like we've ridden a bunch of stuff. If either one of us had to go do it by herself, like when you see the black run when it's like warning, advanced only, if it was either one of us there, um, we wouldn't ride it, but together we're like, let's do it. Our whole goal for the prologue is just not crash. Just like, <laughs> they just do not crash. <laughs> That's gonna be the day when everyone comes out because it's, it's in Cape Town. We can finish a minute and a half down, two minutes down, 40 minutes down, I don't know. And they're not gonna know there. People are gonna see it on the results and be like, oh, Alex Lachlan, they suck. If you do crash, there's gonna be someone taking a picture of it. You're gonna be tagged in 19 different photos by the time you get out of the hospital. <laughs> you know, it's like, let this experiment not be that. <laughs> I have a fear. I got the fear. <laughs> I caught it. Uh, it's because you've been hanging around with me too uh, much. I caught the fear, baby. <laughs> now you're afraid. You'd love to talk about, like, oh, yeah, being out of your comfort zone, it's great for you, blah, blah, blah. But the reality of that is that it's uncomfortable, right? <laughs> Which, like, being uncomfortable sucks in a lot of ways, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you try and avoid that for most of your life. So, um, yeah, we just have the reality of that now. There's always hiccups if you're trying to <laughs> trying to learn anything new. Um, trying to learn a new bike, you're gonna have a hiccup. Trying to learn a whole new discipline of cycling, uh, bound to be a couple ups and downs. Well, when it was first floated, the idea of Cape Epic, Alex and I were super excited. And then like we're like we're gonna spend a bunch of time on our mountain bikes, get ready. We both kind of said it to each other like Cape Epic's not one you should just show up to and do. Um, and then life happens. So, it's a week from Cape Epic, and I'm in Colorado. It's cold. I'm on a road bike, and I would say none of that makes sense to prepare for what I'm trying to get ready for, which is seven days of mountain biking in the heat of South Africa. But I'm gonna tell you why I'm here. And it's kind of a long story, but the root of it goes back to just this past off season, which was Definitely one of the most challenging and at the same time beautiful periods of my life where I learned a huge deal about myself, good and bad. So as a result of that, I was forced to take stock of what it is I do and why I do it how that affects other people last year was a huge year and I loved it but it took a toll on the people around me and myself So now the most important thing for me is to be around the people I love, be at home and spend that time and give as much energy as I can to those people because ultimately, it's what really matters. I get asked that question a bit, you know, it's like, what did you think of the all kind of last year? What's coming up? Like, what do you think, of, you know, what, what, what'd you take away? I mean, I've kind of tried to sit down and process a little bit, but the reality is it's like, I mean, it's just been so addicting for me. Like, if we do one little event, you know, you go to Kansas and you're like, 
opened my eyes. I'm like, you know, and all these people are here. They're there to change their lives. You know, they're there for a transformative experience. Uh, and you get wrapped up in that, and you're like, man, I just had a transformative experience. Like, this is insane. Like, I didn't, I didn't know I could still do that on a bike. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize this could like change the way I think about the whole world. Done. You just got word, race officially canceled. I mean, it makes total sense. You can't like, if you look at that, how the village would be. Yeah. Uh, Tom just text. Uh, they're leaving now. Right now. Now. Yeah. What happens now? Like, what do you? What do you? What's that thing in your head now? Um. <coughs> what's hard now? Because there's no. It, there's no goals. <laughs> because like, the goal we have could just be postponed, cancelled. But, I don't really need goals, you know, to go riding. It'll be fine, you know. I'm just going to go home and pretty much do what I normally do, <laughs> you know, <laughs> provided I can get into the country. Yeah. I mean, luckily around here it doesn't seem like it's gone off too, too bad. I mean, like, Toronto's on lockdown. Really? Nobody, nobody can leave. Have you spoken to many cyclists from there in Girona? Uh, my wife, and, <laughs> my wife and uh, Kiel Ryan and his family. They, uh, they got in the car last night at 2 a.m. Seriously. Your wife did? Yeah, yeah. Drove to Barcelona. She flew out this morning to the UK. Did the virus thing. <laughs> I feel responsible for the guys, uh, for their health. The past 24 hours, I've sort of been um, just sort of thinking what the right thing to do is. Seeing all these other, the classics all be canceled, the Giro, um, it's, it's scary. There's a lot of unknown. Uh, the travel restrictions, there's a lot of stuff that is changing by the hour, and so it's, it's, it's scary. It just, it's a mess. The whole thing's a bit of a mess. Yeah, I mean, it's a hard situation. Ultimately, you just gotta respect the fact that it's it's bigger than sport. Oh, Jess was last night. She was packing up. She thought she was flying out tomorrow. Um, but she's like, "What do you want me to pack?" Said, well, it seems a little early to be packing, but okay. Just make sure you grab all the jerseys, stars and stripes. Being in the world tour, like you don't. It's not that people don't like being there. It's just that. I mean, it's competition. Like, it, it, like the whole thing is competition. Like every day, that's what you do. And not that we weren't, you know, trying to win or whatever at uh, at Kansas. Uh, we we're obviously you know, trying hard. We're pushing, but uh, there was two thousand something people there that were pretty damn sure they weren't going to win anything. Um, and they were in it for the two hundred miles, and uh, their whole goal was just to just to get to the end. People coming in in the dark and uh, everything that I went through, they went through probably 10 times over. Um, and just see, seeing them finish is like, you know, it's a beautiful thing. They just take a little bit of that and uh, let it, let it uh, rub off on you. And next thing you know, you're you know, national champion. <laughs> it's given me a lot more confidence in myself, I would say. Um, because it's, you, you, such, you have such a narrow focus, and such a narrow skill set. You have like, I guess like a complex of like stepping outside of that. And you know, before that, I was genuinely afraid that like if I wasn't a professional bike rider, I would just be useless in the world, <laughs> right? Um, but it's given me the experiences that have sort of helped me realize that oh, you can adapt, right? And that like, even if you're not good at something, if you're willing to like, try and, and put enough effort into it you can you can adapt and, and make yourself you know useful in different situations it changes my whole outlook on um on the sport at the time i was really loving and racing that spring um because i thought i wasn't gonna be racing again um with health concerns and stuff i i, I pretty much thought i was done 
Uh, I was like, ah, write out this contract, see how it goes, sort of thing. And then it was like, man, like I, it's in there, it's in there. I feel it, I feel it. Like, and then it, I got excited and I was eager to prove myself. Um, and I, I really do love racing. Like me, I, I love, you know, coming into the corner and not knowing if I'm coming out. <laughs> like, I don't, there's a there's a danger man in there that like I, I need it. Um, but for them, it's you know, it's the bike is just a way to get out. Once once I kind of took a little bit of a step back, I realized it's like riding a bike's not all about throwing it into a corner, <laughs> hoping you come out. Yeah, I think I'm like slowly dipping my foot into the real world, right? At a level that's comfortable to me. <laughs> um, it's terrifying, the idea of like life outside of cycling. Really? Absolutely. Um, I'm conditioned to it, you know? Uh, that's my identity. I don't like shy away from that, you know? Um, I'm most comfortable on a bike, you know, because that's where I spend most of my time. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> um, so you gravitate towards those things. Um, I'm like slowly getting better at, you know, m being aware of how I, my, or how I am outside of cycling, just like a slow process. Um, but yeah, this whole, I, this whole approach to racing is definitely, it's helping me become a more rounded person, I think. Uh,